Hi guys! For today's video, ang pag-aaralan natin is Grade 5 Math, Quarter 2, Module 4, Lesson 2. Dividing decimals with up to 2 decimal places. Sa lesson na to, pag-aaralan natin kung paano ba tayo mag-divide ng decimal numbers up to 2 decimal places. Okay, meron tayong example dito. The doctor prescribed you to buy one bottle of medicine containing 0 0.75 liter and advises you to take 0 0.25 liter of dosage per day. How many days before a bottle of medicine runs out? Okay, so, ang doktor, nagbigay siya ng reseta sa iyo na bumili ka ng gamot na 0.75 or 0 0.75 liter. Tapos, ang advice niya, ang iinumin mo lang is 0 0.25 liter a day. So, ilang araw kaya maubos itong 0 0.75 liter mo na gamot? Paano ba tayo mag-divide ng mga decimal numbers? Kasi nakita natin na si 0 0.75 is a decimal number and then si 0 0.25 is a decimal number. Meron tayong mga steps. Okay, so step 1, first make both divisor and dividend a whole number by multiplying 100 or by moving the decimal point to decimal places to the right. Okay, so para maintindihan natin, ang gagawin daw natin is ang ating divisor at dividend. Okay, so saan ba yung dividend natin? Ito ang ating dividend, si 0 0.75 divided by 0 0.25. Okay, so ang nasa loob dito is tinatawag natin itong dividend. Ito ang tinatawag nating divisor. At ang sagot natin dito sa taas is tinatawag nating quotient. Okay. So, itong ating dividend daw at divisor is ang gagawin natin, gagawin natin siyang whole number sa pamamagitan ng pag-multiply sa kanila ng 100 or pwede rin nating i-move ng dalawang beses ang decimal point to the right. Okay. So, gagawin natin siya si 0 0.75 i-multiply daw natin sa 100. And si 0 0.25, i-multiply natin sa 100. Para maging whole number sila. Kasi hindi tayo pwedeng mag-divide kapag merong decimal point ang ating or kapag decimal number ang ating divisor. Hindi tayo pwedeng mag-divide. So kapag i-multiply natin si 100 kay 0 0.75, 5 times 0 equals 0, 5 times 0 equals 0, 5 times 1 equals 5. 7 times 0 equals 0, 7 times 0 equals 0, 7 times 1 equals 7. Okay, so wag na natin isali si 0 kasi decimal point dito and then 0 lang din lahat yung sagot. I-add na natin. So, 0, 0, 5, 7. I-count natin kung ilang decimal point meron tayo. 1, 2. So, maglagay din tayo sa ating product. 1, 2. 75. So, ibig sabihin, 0 0.75 times 100 is equal to 75. So, si 0 0.25, kapag i-multiply natin kay 100, magiging 25. Or, kung ayaw nyong mag-multiply, ano yung gagawin natin? I-move natin ng dalawang beses ang decimal point going to the right. Okay, so si 0 0.75, i-move natin ng dalawang beses. So, 1, 2. So, si 0 0.75, nandito na yung decimal point, magiging 75 na siya. Si 0 0.25, i-move natin ang decimal places going to the right dalawang beses. Okay, so 1, 2. Okay, nandito na yung decimal point natin. So, ibig sabihin si 0 0.25 is magiging 25. Ngayon, ang given natin ng ating dividend at divisor is whole number na. So, pwede na natin silang i-divide. Ang step 2 natin, then divide as in dividing with a whole numbers. Okay, so pwede na natin silang i-divide. So, 75 divided by 25. 75 divided by 25 is equal to 3. 3 times 5 is equal to 15. Bring down 5, carry 1. 3 times 2 equals 6 plus 1 equals 7. Okay, subtract. 75 minus 75 is equal to 
0. So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot natin is 3. Ibig sabihin pala, ang kanyang 0.75 liter na gamot, mauubos niya ng tatlong araw kapag ang kanyang itake is 0.25 na uh, 0.25 liter kada araw. So, aabot siya ng tatlong araw. Okay, siguro na intindihan na natin yung process kung paano mag-divide ng mga decimal numbers. Ngayon, meron tayong example dito. So, 4.20 divided by 0.35. Okay, so ano yung gagawin natin? Ang mas madali, mag-move tayo ng dalawang decimal place value going to the right. So, ibig sabihin, itong ating dividend na si 4.20... Kapag i-move natin ng dalawang beses ang ating decimal point to the right, so 1, 2, so magiging 420 siya. Divided by 0 0.35, i-move natin ng dalawang beses ang kanyang decimal point, 1, 2, so magiging 35. Okay, so meron na tayong whole number. Pwede na natin siyang i-divide. So i-divide natin si 420 kay 35. Okay, so mag-divide na tayo. So, 42 divided by 35 is equal to 1. 1 times 5 is equal to 5. 1 times 3 is equal to 3. Okay, subtract. So, 2 minus 5 cannot be kasi maliit si 2. So, si 2 mag-borrow ng 1 kay 4. So, si 4 magiging 3. At si 2 magiging 12. So, 12 minus 5 equals 7. And then, si 4, naging 3 na siya. So, 3 minus 3 equals 0. So, bring down 0 tayo. 70 ty uh, divided by 35 is equal to 2. And then, 2 times 5 is equal to 10. Bring down 0, carry 1. 2 times 3 is equal to 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. Subtract. So, 70 minus 70 is equal to 0. Ibig sabihin... 4.20 divided by 0 0.35 is equal to 12 yung sagot. Another example, 1.98 divided by 0 0.09. Okay, so i-move natin ng dalawang beses. So, 1, 2, so si 1.98 is magiging 198 divided by 1, 2. So, si 0 0.09 is magiging 9. Okay, so i-divide na natin siya. So, 198 divided by 9. 19 divided by 9 is equal to 2. 2 times 9 is equal to 18. Subtract. 9 minus 8 is equal to 1. 1 minus 1 equals 0. Bring down 8 tayo. So, 18 divided by 9 is equal to 2. 2 times 9 is equal to 18. Subtract. So, 18 minus 18 equals 0. So, ibig sabihin, 1.98 divided by 0 0.09 is equal to 22. Ito na yung sagot natin. Another example tayo, 0 0.32 divided by 0 0.04. Okay, so i-move again natin ang decimal point. So, 1, 2. So, si 0 0.32 magiging 32 divided by 1, 2. So, si 0 0.04 is magiging 4. Okay, so i-divide na natin. 32 divided by 4. Okay, so 32 divided by 4 is equal to 8. 8 times 4 is equal to 32. Subtract, 32 minus 32 is equal to 0. So, ibig sabihin, 0 0.32 divided by 0 0.04 is equal to 8 ang ating sagot. Okay, last example tayo. Number 4, 21 divided by 0 0.07. Okay, so napansin nyo na ang ating dividend is a whole number, hindi siya decimal number. Okay, so same lang yung process natin. Gagawin lang natin whole number yung decimal number natin. So si 0 0.07, i-move natin na dalawang place of value to the right. So, 1, 2. So, si 0 0.07 is magiging 7. Ngayon, si 21, dahil nag-move ka ng dalawang decimal place value dito, so si 21, ano ang gagawin mo sa kanya? Mag-add ka ng dalawang 0. So, si 21 is magiging 2,100. 
So, si 21 naging 2,100 at si 0.07 nagiging 7. So, 2,100 divided by 7. Okay, so kung hindi nyo nakuha, nag-move tayo ng dalawang decimal place value kay 0.07. So, si 21 dapat mag-move din tayo ng dalawang decimal place value. And since si 21 is a whole number, Kapag whole number siya, ibig sabihin ang kanyang decimal point is nandito kasi whole number siya. So kapag nag-move nag ka ng dalawang de decimal place value dito, mag-move ka rin dapat sa iyong dividend. So kapag nag-move ka, 1, 2. So ibig sabihin, dahil nandito na yung decimal point mo, dagdagan mo siya dito ng dalawang zero. Kaya naging 2,100 siya. Or pwede rin dagdagan mo na siya agad. Kung ilang decimal place ang ni ang na-move mo sa iyong divisor, ganun din kadami na zero ang ilagay mo sa iyong dividend. So ngayon, i-divide na natin si 2,100 divided by 7. Okay, so 21 divided by 7 is equal to 3. 3 times 7 is equal to 21. Subtract. 21 minus 21 equals 0. So bring down 0 tayo. 0 divided by 7 is equal to 0. 0 times 7 is equal to 0. Subtract. 0 minus 0, of course, 0. So bring down again natin yung isang 0. 0 divided by 7 again is 0. 0 times 7 is equal to 0. Subtract. Kita pa ba sa baba? Okay. So 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. Ibig sabihin, 21 divided by 0 0.07, ang ating sagot is 300. Ayan. Okay, so ganyan lang kadali mag-divide ng decimal numbers with up to 2 decimal places. Basta tatandaan natin na ang ating dividend at divisor is gawin muna natin siyang whole number. Paano yun siya gagawin? I-multiply natin siya by 100 or i-move natin ng dalawang beses ang kanyang decimal point going to the right. At pwede na tayong mag-divide. That's all for today's video guys. See you on our next lesson. Bye!